Hi and welcome back to class of design of punching element. I am Hitesh Rayani, assistant professor at LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. This is lecture 9, example fluctuating block. So learning outcomes of this uh, lecture is to learn the design of component based on the fluctuating plot and the problem is based on the infinite flight. So these are the learning outcomes of uh, this lecture, examples of infinite life and subjected to reversible law. So consider the second example that is a component machine from a plate made of steel 45 CA SUT is equal to 630 Newton per mm square is shown in a figure. So here the component is machine and plate made of steel 45 C8. Its uh, SUT value is 630 Newton per mm square and its configuration is given in the figure. So you can see in figures there are uh, step plate and uh, there are fillet at the, where the cross sectional is changed. So fillet of pi R is applied and the larger width of plate is 100 mm and smaller width of plate is 50 mm. And the load is applied at the end and that is subjected to completely reverse axial force. And the value of this force is 50 kilo Newton. So it is subjected to completely reverse axial force of 50 kilo Newton. The expected reliability is 90%. So here the reliability is given 90%. And the factor of safety is 2. The size factor is 0.85. So size factor is given and that is 0.85. Determine the plate thickness T for infinite life. Here the problem is based on the infinite life. If the notch sensitivity factor is 0.8. So Q is given that is notch sensitivity factor. And the value of Q is 0.8. So according to these configurations and given data, first we collect the data given. So the data given is T is plus or minus 50 kilo Newton. SUD is 630 Newton per mm square. Factor of safety is 2. Reliability is given that is R is 90%. Q is 0.8 and size factor KB is 0.85. So these are the given data and you can see that in figure there are width of plate is given W is W1 is 100 mm and smaller width is uh, 50 mm and fillet radius is uh, 5 mm. So here the problem is infinite life. Uh, based on the infinite life we have to calculate the thickness of this plate. So to calculate the thickness of this plate based on the infinite life, we have to consider the endurance limit as a permissible stress. Then and then we can find the dimension or parameter for the infinite life. So to calculate the endurance limit, we have to first calculate the ACDS. So in previous examples also we learned the problem based on the infinite life problem. But here the geometry is different. So what will be the change according to geometry? You can see in this example. So here also we have to consider the approximation relationship to calculate the acidase. And we know the approximation relationship between acidase and SUT. Here the material is also steel. So for steel, acidase is equal to 0.5 into SUT. So by placing the value of SUD, we get the ACDS value. And here the value of SUD is given 630 Newton per mm square. So we get the ACDS is equal to 315 Newton per mm square. Now, next is what our aim is to calculate the endurance limit for this particular plate. And we know the equations of endurance limit that is AC is equal to KA into KB into KC into KD into AC days. Now we have a value of AC days. So we have to, and AC days is the uh, 
test specimen endurance limit. So we have to calculate the endurance limit for our mechanical component. So we have to correct uh, the endurance limit by introducing the corrected factor that is Ka, Kb, Kc and Kd. So we have to first calculate all these vectors so we can calculate the endurance limit for this particular mechanical component. So let's we first calculate the stress as K vector that is surface finish vector. And surface finish vector is the function of machining operations and SUT value. So here condition is what machine and SUT is 630 Newton per mm square. So component is machines and value of SUT is given. So according to this condition, we have to calculate the surface finish factor Ka. And to calculate the Ka value, we have to use this chart. And uh, here we have to follow the machines and cauldron cups. Because our condition is machines and SUT is 630 Newton per mm square. And in x-axis you can say the SUT in GPA. So if we convert 630 Newton per mm square into GPA, that is 0.63 GPA. So to calculate the value of K, we have to draw the vertical line at 0.63 and we have to extend this vertical line up to the machines and cauldron curve. And from intersections of this curve, we have to draw the horizontal line to calculate the value of KA. So we get the value of Ka is 0.76. So now we have a value of uh, surface finish factor Ka. Now next is we have to calculate the size factor that is Kb. But size factor is given in problem that is 0.85. So Kb is 0.85 that will be considered uh, in a problem. So we have to consider it uh, Kb value from the problems. And next is the reliability factor Kc. So to calculate the Kc value, we have to uh, follow the reliability tables. And here the conditions to calculate the Kc is 90% reliability is given. So according to 90% reliability, what is the value of Kc? We have to calculate from this table. So here you can see there are different percentage of reliability and according to the value of Kc is given. So here the 90% reliability is given. So according to this 90% reliability, the value of Kc is 0.897. So you can see in table for 90% reliability, the value of Kc is 0.897. So in this way, we can calculate the Kc value. Now next is the Kd value. So Kd is 1 upon Kf. And to calculate the K, uh, Kd, we have to first calculate the Kf. So, as we know, the equations of Kf is equal to 1 plus Q into Kt minus 1. So, here, to calculate the Kf, we need value of Q and Kt. But Q is given in problem, that is 0.8, that is not sensitivity factor. So, only unknown to calculate Kf is stress concentration factor Kt. So, to calculate Kt, we have to use the stress concentration chart according to the uh, step plate considered at the uh, fillet at intersection of cross section and subjected to axial load. So, according to our geometry, we have to use this uh, chart to calculate the stress concentration factor. And if we see in chart, to calculate the Kt value, we need small r by small d ratio and capital D by small d ratio. Because there are different curves according to the capital D by small d ratio and there, uh, there are small r by d ratio in x-axis. So to calculate the value of Kt, we first calculate these two ratio that is small r by small d ratio and capital D by small d ratio. So let's first we calculate these two ratio. So capital D by small d ratio. In our configurations, the larger width of the plate is given 100 mm. So capital D is 100 mm 
and smaller width of the plate is given 50 mm so small d is 50 mm so according to this capital d by small d ratio is point i is 2 now small r by small d ratio so a small r is the fillet radius and fillet radius is i mm and small d is the smaller width of the plate that is 50 mm so by uh, placing this so both value we get the small r by small d ratio is equal to 0.1. Now we have a both value small r by small d ratio and capital D by small d ratio. So we can calculate the kt value from this stress concentration chart. So in x axis there are small r by small d ratio. So we, our small r by small d ratio is 0.1. So we have to draw the vertical line at 0.1. Uh, a small r by small d ratio and we have to extend this line up to the curve of capital D by small d is equal to 2 and from intersections of this point we have to draw the horizontal line to calculate the value of kt and we can see in the graph according to this configuration the value of uh, kt from graph is 2.27 so kt is 2.27 now we can uh, calculate the kf that is 1 plus q into kt minus 1 so by placing the value of q is 0.8 and kt is 2.27 we get the kf is equal to 1 plus 0.8 into 2.27 minus 1 so kf value we get 2.016 now we have a value of kf so we can easily calculate the kd that is 1 upon kf so by placing the value of kf that is 2.016 we get the kd value is 0.496 so now we have a all value ka kb kc kd and acid so we can calculate the endurance limit of this particular component. So AC is Ka into Kb into Kc into Kd into acetate. So now we have all these values. So by placing this value, we can get the endurance limit of component is 90.54 Newton per mm square. Now here the axial load is applied. So for axial load, AC is equal to 0.8 into AC. So AC value is 90.54. So we can get uh, ACA is equal to 0.8 into 90.54 and that is equal to 72.43 Newton per mm square. So permissible stress amplitude sigma A is equal to ACA divided by factor of safety. Here the ACA is 72.43 and the factor of safety is given to so we can get the sigma a that is the permissible stress amplitude that is equal to 36.22 newton per mm square now we have to use the elementary equation according to this configuration so here the step plate is given so we have to consider the weaker section to calculate the thickness of plate here there are uh, larger width is 100 mm and smaller width is 50 mm. So we have to consider the cross sectional of minimum uh, width plane. So we have to consider the minimum cross sectional area as 50 into T. As we know the sigma 0 that is the elementary stress equation is equal to T into P divided by A. And we have to consider A is the minimum cross sectional area and that is 50 into t. So if we have to uh, solve this equation by placing the sigma a is the 36.22 in the uh, elementary equation and load of uh, load p is uh, 50 into 10 raised to 6 and uh, if you simplify uh, you get the value of t is equal to 27.61 m. So in this examples we design the step plan subjected to reversible load, reversible axial load and has a sustained infinite life as 
you design uh, t is equal to 27.61 m thank you